Okay, The Afterlife Red Gallon Poe by Devin Locke. Whoop. Fade in. Exterior graveyard day. The yard is very foggy and quiet, with an iron fence in the distance and a brick building in the background. The graveyard reads Edgar Allan Poe from 1809 to 1849. A fist is then revealed from the ground, showing something is now digging itself out of the grave. After a long struggle, we see Edgar out of his grave, lying on the ground, tired and in pain. He stands up and looks around. He looks very pale and in a black ripped up suit. Edgar looks at his tombstone in disbelief. Burn it. The sound gets Edgar's attention. He turns around to see a woman standing in the distance. Virginia? The woman walks away. Edgar follows her. Interior hotel lobby day. The lobby looks cold and old, with no one in sight. Virginia, where are you? Edgar steps on a newspaper on the ground. He picks it up and notes the headline. Deathly Red Plague Hits Baltimore. Edgar hears footsteps, then sees Virginia run into a room. Virginia! Edgar walks towards the hallway. Suddenly, there's a noise of a clock striking the hour. The lights start to dim. The light from the window slowly starts to turn red. Edgar, frightened, keeps moving. Ahead of him, the doors for each room are different colors. Blue, purple, green, orange, white, violet, and black. A woman's cry emanates from behind the light blue door. Edgar tries to open it, but the door is locked. Virginia, is that you? Edgar doesn't get an answer. Edgar looks back at the lobby and sees keys on the wall. Frustrated, Edgar walks away from the door. Suddenly, from behind Edgar, the door he was trying to get into slowly starts to creak open. The crying stops. Edgar turns around in fear and slowly walks towards the door. Edgar walks in the room. Interior hotel in room day. Edgar walks in the room to see the entire room is blue with white curtains on the windows. He looks at the bed and sees a briefcase. Edgar picks it up to see that it says property of Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar sets the case on a table beside an unlit candle. He opens it up and sees a stack of pages. The top reads The Mask of the Red Death by Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar picks it up and studies it. Why might I be cursed by my own writing? Edgar sees the candle light itself.
Behind him, Edgar hears the doorknob start to rattle frantically. Edgar quickly hides behind the bed, trying not to make a sound. He slips the book into his jacket. The rattling gets louder and louder, then suddenly it stops. Edgar peeks at the door, unsure if it's safe to leave. He stands up and walks back towards the door. Edgar opens it slowly to check if anyone is there. Interior hotel hallway day. Edgar turns and looks down the hallway. Suddenly the door slams behind him and the hallway turns pitch black. The light from the chandelier lights again, but this time it's green. Edgar starts to walk very slowly, frightened by what's happening. There's a man kneeling with a woman in his arms down the hall. Edgar walks up towards the man and sees it's himself from the past holding his dead wife. No, Virginia. No, no, no. Not now, my sweet wife. Not now. Virginia has blood coming from her mouth. The vision of Edgar looks at him. His eyes turn black. Then, the, then he gives a blood-curdling scream. Edgar turns his head down the rest of the hallway. The hallway has started over again, as if he started from where he started from. Edgar looks behind him. The hallway is now empty. Edgar turns back. The lantern light has turned orange. He sees Virginia standing in the hall ahead. Are you lost? Virginia? What is the matter? Be still, Edgar. I am here. I brought you back so I could see you. Virginia holds Edgar's cheek. Is it really you? I can't believe my eyes. Edgar and Virginia hug and kiss. Virginia leans in to whisper in Edgar's ear, Burn the book, Edgar. You're the only one that can save these people. Go now before the darkness finds you. Virginia's mouth starts to bleed. Her eyes start to turn black. How could you do this to me, Edgar? Virginia? Your eyes? No, Virginia, this cannot be. Virginia kneels, and the lights turn pitch black. Suddenly the lights turn red. The red death is standing in the hall. Edgar turns to flee. Interior hotel lobby day. The hotel lobby is bathed in red light. Edgar heads towards the front door to escape. The front door slams shut. Edgar grabs the doorknob, trying to open the door. Edgar looks back to see the Red Death is starting to slowly approach. Edgar starts kicking the doorknob to break the door open. Uh, the Red Death reaches his arms out to grab Edgar until Edgar breaks the doorknob and runs out. Exterior church graveyard night. Edgar runs to his grave and hides behind the tombstone. Edgar sees a lit lantern in the distance. Edgar gets up to grab it. As he's heading towards it, the book falls out of Edgar's jacket. He goes back to grab it. As he looks up, he sees the red death coming towards him. Edgar quickly goes towards the lantern to grab it. The Red Death is closing in on Edgar. Edgar drops the book. And throws the lantern on it. 
Edgar looks up at the Red Death as the fire is bright under Edgar's, Edgar's face. The Red Death kneels as he sets out a horrifying moan. It's over. It's finally over. Edgar walks towards his gravestone. Edgar sees Virginia walking towards him. Well done. You saved everyone. Edgar smiles and is given a kiss from Virginia. I love you, Edgar. Virginia gets up and starts to walk away. Where are you going? Will you not rest with me? It is too late for me, Edgar. I cannot leave this place. This is my curse for bringing you back. Yet it was worth it in the end. Is there not another way, Virginia? I cannot let you suffer from my writing. A curse can only be replaced by another. Virginia starts to walk away into the fog. I will come back for you. I will be with you again. Edgar fades away, leaving his grave. Fade out. Lord help my poor soul. Virginia's body was buried next to Edgar 40 years after his death. Woohoo! That's the whole freaking story, bye.